Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you want to see more from us, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in the world famous Gombe National Park located in the western Kigoma region of Tanzania, Africa. This park and its inhabitants were made famous by Dr. Jane Goodall, a young scientist and researcher who spent many years of her life living in this African national park, devoting her life to the research of our closest relative animal species, the chimpanzees. Before we can reach the national park and its wonderful chimpanzees, we must first travel by boat from the nearby city called Kigoma. Traveling by boat from this city is the only possible way to reach Gombe National Park. Dr. Jane Goodall lived at Gombe almost full time for 15 years and the long term data she accumulated is still of value to scientists today. In 1967, the Gombe Stream Research Center or GSRC was established to coordinate ongoing chimpanzee research within the park. Run mostly by a team of trained local Tanzanians, the GSRC is the longest running field study of an animal species in their natural surroundings now for over 40 years. This long-term data has provided scientists with insight into chimpanzee demographic patterns, male politics, hunting, culture and mother-infant relationships over multiple generations, which has proven to be rare and valuable data. Inside the park, we need to wear protective masks. Because of the proximity and closeness, we will get to the chimpanzees. Chimpanzees are in fact our closest living relative species to humans. We share 98% of our DNA with each other. Therefore, we can easily transfer anything to them. National Park was established in 1968 over Lake Tanganyika with steep valleys and tropical rainforest. The park is most famously known for the location where Dr. Jane Goodall pioneered her behavioral research conducted on the chimpanzee populations. The chimpanzee community whom live inside Gombe National Park has been featured in several books and documentaries. Besides chimpanzees, primates inhabiting Gombe include Beachcumber olive bamboons, red columbus, red tail monkeys, blue monkeys, and vervet monkeys. Red tailed monkeys and blue monkeys have also been known to hybridize or crossbreed within species in the area.
Trekkers, Chimpanzee Trek, which is really cool. And we have three more to go since we're staying four days here. Ah, uh, we're refreshed. But we did the Chimpanzee Trekking in the Mums, so that's the best time to see the Chimpanzees. So we have this all the afternoon to do fun activities like snorkeling, swimming, and Lake Tanganyika, and kayaking, which we're going to do before we have some lunch. That's it. <laughs> a little rocky. <laughs> yeah, I see that. So that's where we have our fires for the sunset. We have the beautiful Lake Tanganyika in front of us. That's our boat that takes us to the chimpanzees and back to Kigoma daily. And there's our lodge, private beach. And we are the only guests in the lodge, so kind of nice. More doesn't like the rocks. <laughs> the fun thing about Lake Tanganyika that we've learned on this side in Gombe National Park in Kigoma, Tanzania area, there are no animals. I mean there's fish but there's no like wildlife predators, there's no hippos or crocodiles like we found which is also Lake Tanganyika, but on the south side. We are now uh, more towards the like, middle north, I would say, of Lake Tanganyika. So we can swim and be free with no animals to worry about. So let's go. Chimpanzee, chimpanzee, sorry, trekking. And you can see there's my little paddle wound, I'm washing it off in the sea, or not the sea, but the lake. <laughs> Red tail monkeys and blue monkeys have also been known to hybridize or crossbreed between species in the area. Today we are trekking inside the rainforest, searching for the chimpanzees. After Dr. Jane Goodall's work, study, and time spent living with the chimpanzees, some of them have gotten used to people visiting them and are not scared of their presence inside their habitat and home.